Welcome to my workshop. You are watching Casual DIY channel and today again I'm going to be trying to improve my workbench. This is a improvement for the future rather for the existing workbench as I am planning to build a new one. However, I want to try a few things to see if they work. And in today's video I'm going to be mainly using a latch lock. So if you're interested in the upgrade, watch the video. The workbench I've got in my workshop, the top of it is full with dock holes to accommodate the docks, okay? And they do a decent job on holding the work and helping me out with day-to-day -day tasks. However, the problems with this is this workbench is my main workbench and I quite often, most of the times, actually do assembly on this. And with the dogs being just holes, <laughs> a lot of the times uh, the hardware I've got falls through the holes and it's bloody annoying as you can imagine. Now, I still want to have the facility in my future workbench to have some sort of a stop on the workbench so I can butt against it my workpiece if I'm planing, routing or anything else. So, we're going to try out a latch lock. The first job is to take off the top of my workbench. Okay, so as you probably guessed it, I'm going to use that as a stopper on my workbench. So is the question how I'm going to um, install this on my workbench. Well, first of all, I only got 25 millimeters of that metal um, rod over here to play around with. And the top of my workbench is 18 millimeters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my router to create a channel basically so I can get this a little bit deeper into the top of my workbench so I get as much um, as possible of that metal material. Now I'm thinking I'm going to create two rows, one over here, and one over here. Right then, with the channels now made, we need to think of a way of securing the latches to the top itself. Obviously, it needs to be in this orientation. So, what I'm thinking, I'm just going to add a piece of timber, just like so. Pre-drill a couple of more holes in this so I can secure it to the new piece. So, let's do that. Okay, now I'm just going to pre-chill some extra holes to mount these. Now I'm just going to mark the position where I need to pre-chill the hole. And now I can secure them in place with some screws. Right, with these now firmly installed, what I want to do, I don't want them to retract all the way, okay? I want them to be as close as possible to the level of our workbench. So what I did, I've uh, cut out a piece that will be attached just like so. A small shelf that basically uh, these will stop onto, okay? So they will not go all the way down. So very quickly, I'm just going to be using some uh, CA glue with an activator to get the initial bond. And after that, I'm going to put some nails in it just for that strength. But obviously, you know, you can use screws, wood glue, whatever tickles your fancy, really. It doesn't matter. Now, to make sure I'm at the correct height for these to go up, I've just created a spacer block that's two centimeters. That's where I want these to stop. So that's my spacer block, making sure I'm the right distance away. Right then, everything seems to be in order. I'm going to install uh, the top back on my workbench and I'm going to show you how to actually use it. 
and as you can see they are ultra low profile you can't actually see them at all they are more or less just about two millimeters under um, the level of the workbench itself which is exactly what I want and basically there is no hole so nothing will fall inside how to operate it grab yourself a magnet boom just pull them out simple as that and you've got all the stops you're gonna need for most applications but hey As you can see, you can make any layout you want or potentially need. You can add them in the future. It's ever so simple to do. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my magnet here so it's a little bit easier to hold it. I'm just going to use a plastic star knob that I 3D printed. Let me just add some CA glue on it. That will be enough strong for this application. But it will be so much easier to hold this and use it. There you go, simple solution. But it definitely works. Simple as that. As you can see, really easy to do and quite helpful in my opinion. And there you have it guys, really simple solution. What do you think about that? Um, maybe you've already done something similar or exactly the same. Let me know down below in the comments and maybe you've got better solutions as well. So share it with me and everybody else that will be watching this video. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop me that like button down below. And hey, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to my channel as there is plenty more cool content coming in the near future. However, if we are talking about content, I've got some really cool playlists just for you with all my videos, some woodworking projects, jigs, everything else. So hopefully you'll click on one of those and a video will pique your interest. So I'm going to see you on my next video. Take care.